Scientists have found that bees can scream in bee language when giant murder hornets attack their nests. Here are the details. In a recent study published in the Royal Society Open Science website, researchers say they found that Asian honeybees have found a way to scream when giant murder hornets attack their nests. The study found that the bees have developed a way to create intense vibroacoustic signals, which are short pulses of vibration and sound frequencies produced by their wings and thoraxes. When a scouting murder hornet comes close to the nest, the bees close to the nest entrance would suddenly increase their signaling sevenfold. At the same time, these worker bees also begin making anti-predatory signals, which are harsher and more irregular in their frequencies. Video recordings show the bees make this anti-predatory signal by raising their abdomens, buzzing their wings, and racing about frantically. In some cases, the signal seems to cause worker bees at the hive's entrance to go into defense mode, spreading animal dung on the hive to repel predators, or trying to form a ball of bees around the scouting hornet, which heats it to death. The study says these sophisticated defenses require quick reactions from all the bees in the hive, and the frantic and energetic signals from the bees at the entrance seem to be the way the call to arms is transmitted quickly. If you were around in the 90s, you might remember it for the classic sitcoms like Friends and Seinfeld, or cool bands like Nirvana. What you probably don't remember it for is the existence of a single worker bee who learned to clone herself perfectly, thus creating an immortal clone army of millions that is now an increasing threat to other bee species. Here's what you need to know. Over the past 30 years, an individual South African cape worker honeybee has asexually created millions of perfect clones of herself, according to a study published in the Proceedings of the Royal Society Bee Journal. This army of worker clones represents a risk to the rival African lowland honeybee, causing the collapse of 10% of its colonies every year, according to live science. Usually, when female honeybee workers reproduce asexually, they simply reshuffle chromosomes they receive from their parents, passing on two of four, with no new genetic material introduced by a sexual partner. This is a genetic dead end, gradually leading to a loss of genetic diversity and leaving the species vulnerable to being wiped out, which is why it is usually subordinate to relying on a queen bee reproducing sexually. Female South African cave honeybee workers, however, have a genetic mutation that enables them to pass on genetic material from all four chromosomes, with no reshuffling. This allows them to successfully clone themselves with no immediate loss of diversity and no help from a queen. The problem resulting from the proliferation of these cloned female worker bees is that workers are usually relied on to help feed the queen, drones and larvae, according to the Canadian Agriculture and Food Museum. However, according to the author of the new study, these cloned female workers don't do that work because they are reproductive. As a result, when they fill up rival hives, those hives collapse. In order to establish the phenomenon, scientists compared the genomes of South African Cape honeybee workers with those of their queen and their offspring, finding the latter group had levels of recombination 100 times greater than the genetically identical cloned offspring of the workers. The full impact of this development is still being studied, but the new study reported at least one disturbing outcome. One lineage of Cape bee workers has become entirely parasitic, according to the study. They now solely exist by sneaking into the hives of the African lowland honeybee and laying as many eggs as they can. The African lowland bees mistake these eggs for their own and rear them, the study said. Let's see, 2020 so far. Huge bushfires down under where at least 1 billion animals died? Check. Global pandemic? Check. Large plague of locusts threatening food security in East Africa? Check. Hundreds of giant Asian killer hornets appear for the first time ever in the Northwest US ready to kill honeybees? Check. Wait, what? We wish we were kidding. Just as the world is trying its best to keep its cool in the midst of a pandemic, giant murdering hornets never before seen in American territory are coming out of hibernation. This is what we know. Last December, the Washington State Department of Agriculture confirmed two reports of Asian giant hornets in Blaine, Washington. Reuters reports that two more unconfirmed sightings were reported in Custer, Washington. These killer hornets are now coming out of winter hibernation. Native to Southeast Asia, China, and Taiwan, Asian giant hornets can measure between 1.5 to 2 inches or 3.8 to 25 centimeters in length. Vespa mandarinia, also known as murder hornets, have stingers that deliver venom to their victims and mandibles capable of decapitating bees. According to the WSU Insider, the Asian giant hornet queen wakes from hibernation in April, 
finds nourishment and then looks for a place to establish a colony that will later go out to bring back food. The bee population in the United States is most threatened by these hornets from late summer to early fall. While they hunt for food for their next queens, the hornets will decapitate honeybees and eat the bees' larvae and pupae. Well, you might be thinking, isn't this just nature? The circle of life, so to speak? Nope, not really. First off, we don't know how these hornets made it to the U.S., but they have never been found in the country before, so this new species is an invader and definitely a threat to beekeepers. Still not feeling this pertains to you? A threat to bees means a threat to human food production. We need bees in order for many key crops to be pollinated. According to the United States Department of Agriculture, more than a third of all American crop production requires insects to help pollinate, and the primary pollinator is, you guessed it, honeybee colonies. So what can you do? Well, if you live in the States, keep an eye out for these murderous buggers and call authorities if you're unlucky enough to spot one. But in your quest to take down the murder hornet invasion, please be aware of their painful toxin-ridden sting. Oh, and if you're allergic to bees, then definitely stay away because their sting could easily cause a severe anaphylactic shock and even, well, death. They're back. The first live Asian giant murder hornet of 2021 has been spotted in Washington state, and it was caught in the act of living up to its name, attacking a wasp nest. The news has scientists worried that America's honeybees could get wiped out. Here are the details. Asian giant hornets, colloquially known as murder hornets, are back in Washington state after a resident spotted a live insect, officials at the Washington State Department of Agriculture confirmed on Thursday, August 12th. The sighting occurred on August 11th near a rural area east of Blaine in Whatcom County, Washington. This is roughly two miles from where the first murder hornet nest, which contained 500 live specimens, including 200 queens, was eradicated in October of 2020. The state's agriculture department said it will set live traps in an attempt to catch a live hornet, tag it, and track it back to the nest. Murder hornets kill honeybees, which are already under siege from mites, diseases, and other factors. They usually attack honeybee hives in the late summer or early fall. A small group can kill an entire honeybee hive in a matter of hours. Normally found in East Asia, nobody knows quite how the hornets came to America, but since 2019, there have been several sightings in Washington state. With a length of 5 centimeters, they are the world's largest hornets and they have an extremely painful sting. According to the Washington State Department of Agriculture, the hornets enter a slaughter phase where they kill bees by decapitating them. They then defend the hive as their own while taking the brood to feed their own brood. The agency has already killed six or seven hives in Washington state since 2019. U.S. scientists managed to outsmart the dangerous and highly destructive Asian giant hornet by using a series of clever techniques to find and destroy one of their nests in Washington state. The Asian giant hornet also goes by the name murder hornet, and this was the first nest to be found by using dental floss to tie tracking devices onto three of the hornets. One of the murder hornets then led the tracking team to a tree that contained a whole nest of the species. The nest of around 200 hornets was then sucked out of the tree with a vacuum hose. After that, the tree was cut down and destroyed to make sure no other hornets could survive. The invasive murder hornet has a powerful sting and can spit venom. They target honeybees, which pollinate crops, and can destroy a colony of honeybees in just a matter of hours. Asian giant hornets are among the world's largest wasps. The queens can reach over 5 centimeters or 2 inches in length. Their venomous sting can penetrate humans' protective clothing. But the number of people they kill each year is low. They kill around 40 people annually in Asia, according to the Smithsonian Museum in Washington, D.C. When an Asian giant hornet enters a honeybee colony, it begins a slaughter phase in which it kills bee after bee and can destroy the colony in a few hours. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.